All right, so good morning. Our lovely stay of a week in the free state is finished. Um, so we're heading up to the Kalahari now. It's a six hour drive. Some new adventures for Opa and for the Deccas. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the Kalahari. Uh, Oak, welcome to Turu, your final destination. Um, this guy's going to make it rememberable for you. Um, and we're also going to try. Um, Pop, you're looking mainly for buffalo here. Yep. And the road, Oak, Weed, Kempsbach, Warthog, Springbach, Kudu, whatever. <laughs> we'll see. Well, we have arrived this afternoon at Turu Lodge. The architecture, the design is just phenomenal. I've said that I should be the head of a corporation to live like this. So, since we've seen the beautiful architecture, we're going out to see the beautiful hunting ground for the first time. My experienced professional here and good friend has been here before, so we have an idea of what to look for and where. So I'm looking forward to a gorgeous afternoon. It's the first warm hunting day we've had since we started. Tim and them are looking for buffalo and we just spotted the herd of buffalo bulls here. So we're going to go in a different direction so they can come and have a look at them if there's any hard horse bulls in there. I saw a game spot here at the bottom. Oh, so all we, I saw was oh, movement. No. I thought it was one of them. No, so it's a game spot. I couldn't see how big it is, but let's rather just walk in than try and spook it with the car.
Ja, opa, so the games back alluded us. Yeah. So 1-0 to them. But it's so amazing when we pop over, Kudu ran out. There's a Elan standing, there's Red Hart to be better down, there's Ted to be Springbok running. <laughs> yeah, it's good first afternoon. All right, so good morning. Um, it's a lovely first morning up in the Kalari Opa. Uh, main focus definitely with the sun rising going to be Gamesbach and Kudu. Um, we saw a very nice Gamesbach bull late last night. Hopefully we'll be in the same region. I'm going to look if we can get him. And then we'll see later on when the sun is up here yeah, by 10 o'clock, maybe a nice Springbach, Black Impala or a nice big Warthog. But like we say, we never know what's around the next corner. Very nice springback ram, lone ram, feeding all by himself. Just over the ridge, no clue of us. Standing under the tree. Let's go down, Opa. He's in that thick bush now, Opa. Just saw him go through there, running that way. He turned as you shot, Opa. That wasn't you. As you, he turned as you shot. So, don't worry. I think let's let's leave them. We know in what area they are. So our plan is after lunch to come this way for Gamespark. If we see them, we we'll look again for one. But if we don't see them, it's all right. That's fine.
was better down here, but the springbok got them up, so we think we saw springbok going slowly down here. So we think the camp spot is just below here, it makes like another flat. Opa, the game sparks were really ready on that nose of the mountain. Really? Yeah. This is our second morning for a full day of hunting here at Turo. Looking forward to another wonderful day. We've said before that instead of what the bush provides, it'll be what the sand provides. So we'll see. Yeah, a little bit overcast, but warm this morning. Um, we'll look for game spark early morning and then we'll see, like you said, we'll see what the sand gives us. Just in a very, very big caron, all by himself. Gonna put a stalk in, he's over the dune. Gonna move around, get the wind right, and see if we can get close to him. Sounds good. Okay. Great shot, reload. Reload, that's a great shot. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think he's, you just see? I think he's going down. Let us just go there. But that looked like a great, great shot. Let's just go. Papa, congratulations on a magnificent drone. Wow. Let's go have a look. <laughs> look at this. Rock, rock hard. Even some secondary growth in there. Yeah, that's from fighting, eh? Yep. But yeah, your shot's pitch perfect. Slightly caught him to us. Yeah, look at that one down teeth as well. Look there. Into the gums, look there. Okay, Opa, congratulations on a magnificent drone bull. I know this wasn't part of the plan at all until last night. Um, but congratulations on a magnificent, magnificent drone bull. I'll leave it to you. It is just a huge and beautiful animal. I have been blessed since the start of this safari with old and impressive 
uh, hunting successes. And this one continues that run. Second growth on the horns, the size of him, the fact that he is older also makes me happy that I'm not taking young ones. And I couldn't be happier. This is just truly a majestic animal. So we scouted over some dunes here and we spotted a lone big, big springbok ram. We've been seeing him a couple of times, but hopefully we can close the distance and get him. He's winning us. Slightly to the left on his shoulder. The zebra is on the other side, the game spot should be here, but there's a big spring box down here. So. He's walking to the left, he's looking back, you dropped him, reload, reload. He's down, well done. Old, old, old ram. We're on top of a mountain at Turu. We originally were hunting Gemsbach. Spotted Gemsbach on the west slope of this mountain, went around the mountain, climbed the mountain, which for old men is tiring, got up to the top, gale force winds because of a climate change, and we saw that the Gemsbach had moved to the next hill. But a a herd of springbok was there with a good ram, 
Springbok has been my jinx for a day and a half, and so this wound up being a perfect setup. My expert here, they're called professional hunters, he's an expert professional hunter, that's a level up, got me within 66 yards of a springbok ram. The shot was good, and the two best words hunters here, he's down. I want to thank you for leading us up the hill, and more importantly, on getting this back down the hill two kilometers to the truck. You're more man than I am. <laughs> <laughs>
James Buckball. He's standing right in the bush, basically, so go through the bush. The one at the back stops him as well, both are big. The one at the back. Hit him. Solid. Solid. Opa, reload. You hit him very good. Reload. He's gonna go down. <laughs> All I can say is, it's about time for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to you guys, that I was starting to have my doubts about me this morning. No, I know that, but I'll keep pushing you because I know you can shoot. This is a hang of a game spot bull. This is a proper bull. Yeah. Ah, thank you. We're sitting here with a magnificent game spot bull in the Kalahari. Um, it was tough hunting them. We had a tough couple of days after them. This morning was tough. We did some climbing. And yeah, the fourth time we were lucky. Um, but yeah, we're sitting here with really a magnificent, magnificent game spot bull. Congratulations. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you. You and the tracker were perfect. Martin was helpful and perfect. This morning I was a little less, but it led to this guy. And I kind of think that maybe it was meant to be. Yeah. You can see the character in his horns, which I've had on my previous animals. You can see that he's old, which also checks one of my animal boxes. Yeah, no, um, I would also just like to thank Martin. Um, we're getting close to the end. Martin, thank you for, for, for everything from African Sound Productions and then Yanni Otto Safaris yeah. for giving you the chance and let dreams come through. A 59 year dream that came through. <laughs> I've come to the end of my lifelong dream safari, having spent a month in the marvelous country of South Africa. There are many people that have had a, a big hand in my success, 
So I hope you bear with me as I bounce around a little bit, but this is important to me. First, to thank is my wife of 47 years, Sue, who when we were younger said, no, we have to be responsible financially, and that made this partially possible. And she also accepted my dream, although she's not a hunter, and supported me. So Sue, I love you more than words can tell. Next, the Red Monkey, Monkey hunting crew from the States. I've worn this hat each day in honor of that and in honor of my father. Our Red Monkey group started with the senior male in a monkey group is the silverback. So this was dad's hat. After we lost dad, it came to me. And so every day I wore it was not only for the existing monkeys, but for dad. Next, and none of these are least, Tim and Jam, my brother and sister, supposed to be sister-in-law, but we know that love makes a family, not blood. Tim and Jan, because they started this Africa addiction, I was able to not only have them plant the seed in me, but to guide me through the preparation and planning that led to all the success. Even though distance in the States has separated us a lot, the love has always been there and tight. So thank you both. There you go. <laughs> Next, JP. I met JP at the SCI convention briefly. Tim and Jan had hunted with him before, so he was known. He was friendly to me then, but has become a dear friend, excellent hunter, excellent friend, and I have a little something for you. This is the remainder. <coughs> this is the remainder of my 416 Rigby ammo. Thank you, Uncle. So when you reach for this, you can think of me. Thank you, Uncle. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And now Martin. Martin is one that prefers to be behind the camera. <coughs> when this dream began, I wanted it recorded so that it would live on not only for my lifetime, but my sons and so forth. Martin is a professional, he's an artist, and has become just a dear, dear friend in the time that we've had together. Unlike JP, I don't have anything physical to give you because I don't have electronic gadgets and things like that. But you have my respect, my love, and my honor. Thank you. And now, the star of the show, Coit. I have been mispronouncing his name for a month, and I will continue to do that because I'm a Duncey American. However, this young man had every day made better than the one before, has been my successful professional hunter, but more importantly, Dear, dear, dear friend, we have shared so much laughter, so much joy, so much success. I tried to think of something that I could leave him for remembering me. And it dawned on me, he and I shoot the same 300 Winchester rifle with Ruger. And so I have worn this buckle for 20 years I want you to have it 
and I want you to think of me when you see it or where. I'll change my nap after this, Opa. For this, I'll thank you so much. I love you, son. Love you too. Thank you so much, Opa. It was very nice. And now, for the people that made it possible, having worn the red monkey cap, I thought it only appropriate, Yanni Otto and his wife, Ronell. From the time that I first met them and explained what I had in mind and hoped for, they made it all possible. The camps that we've been to, the professionals that were connected with us, the accommodations from all five camps, I cannot imagine a better company to make your dreams come true. And lastly, so that this was recorded for a lifetime, Martin Muller and African Sun Productions, I am sure that when I see the video, I will see things that I did not see because Martin's imagination and expertise will have that included so that the taste of Africa that Yanni promotes and what I'd hoped for will be there.